everybody, James Largo, the Cichlid Shack, the Cichlidshack.com. Cichlid Shack on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all those social media uh, sites, all those good places. We are here to do another walkthrough video of our inventory. We got another shipment in last week. Kind of wanted to show you guys what we had going on, as well as let you know about a few other things like a sale on all our two inch and one inch unsexed. We're starting to get overloaded with them. Um, so we put them on sale. Uh, we dropped everything $5 on the price. So two inch unsexed are now $9.99. One inch on sex are now $4.99 for the most part on all of them. As you can see, we have a good supply from the breeders above them on both sizes. So, um, yeah, there you go. Two inch, one inch on sex, all on sale, including the um, albino and common bristle nose placos that we breed in house, as well as the super red. Bristle nose uh, all have been put on sale five dollars off each one. Uh, the show tank at the front of the shop. Um, I added a whole bunch of goodies to this tank. Uh, I had sold a bunch out of here, so I figured it was uh, about time to add some goodies, and I did some um, kind of for myself this time, uh, like this beautiful wild caught Stevens Eye Imperial. Um, Phosphorus rostratus, wild caught Spilopsuous blue, wild caught Tyrannochromus niger ventor, uh, nice uh, Strigatus, and F1 Buchachromus nototania. Uh, there is a wild caught Ornatus that was added. You know, some other goodies. Uh, wild caught. Talia Lethronops Latticep. Just, you know, some goodies that I actually wanted for a change, including this F1 uh, Malawi Hawk, Aristochromus Christi. Uh, I showed a lot of them on my video, last video, caught a bunch of slack for it. Uh, basically, people saying, we don't want to see fish you're going to keep. Well, too bad. Uh, you know, I'm a fish guy too. I'm going to want to keep some for myself occasionally. If you don't like it, don't watch the video. Enough of that rambling. These are some of the 2 inch and 1 inch on sex. Uh, Clown Ruby Reds from my breeder mail back there. Also on sale as part of that sale. Uh, lots of them. Check the website. They're all listed for sale. Um, couple of goodies over here. We have a few of the three inch albino dragon bloods remaining um, got in some assassin snails uh, they are now listed on the website as well a lot of them seem to like to hide up toward the top of the the edge but there's a whole bunch of them like a hundred of them some of the Taiwan reefs that are for sale from my breeder male up here Here are the Super Red Bristlenose Breeding Group. Uh, a fresh batch out last week, and he already is guarding another huge batch in there as well. Uh, another batch, and they have probably 100 plus at a time. You can see there's a um, whole lot of them. And then up here are the ones that are for sale. And as you can see, we have a whole lot of super reds, commons, albinos. Um, show you from under here. You can see they're just they're, there's loads of them. So we put them on sale for you guys. So take advantage. On to the fish. We have Angara flame tails, uh, both males and females. I've uh, been getting a lot of requests for uh, females on a lot of these, so started bringing in females as well. So those looking to breed and gar flame tails, there are males and females available. Um, some holding, as you can see there. Below that, beautiful German reds. Males and females available. 
Below that are red top Lawandas. Also males and females available. Up here, beautiful bicolors, males and females available. Including holding females. Dikoshi Dragon Bloods. Sold a lot of these. Uh, I'll be contacting uh, Dikoshi soon, probably to get some more of these. Uh, we'll see if he has some females available this time. Lemon Jakes. Beautiful Lemon Jakes. Flavescence. These are my in-house bred blue sunsets. Gleaming beautiful sunshines, both males and females available. Really liking this dude right here. Ethelwaney Peacocks, both males and females available in these as well. One you don't uh, see all the time, beautiful fish. Can be kind of docile, uh, but beautiful nonetheless. Crazy, crazy egg spots. Kobu Regals. Beautiful Eureka Reds and anywhere from three inch to four and a half to five inch. This guy is definitely the boss of the tank here, but very nice ones in different sizes and color ranges. There's the boss of the tank. Over here are beautiful otter points from my breeding colony up front. Up here are OB Peacocks, anywhere from three and a half inch to five and a half inch. Uh, males and females available, including a holding female. Variations of yellows and oranges and blues and creams and blues and oranges and whites and whatever you're looking for. Uh, we have it, another female. There's another female, there's a holding female, lots of males. Up here, beautiful 5 inch plus blue neons. Over here are Cornelii blue golds, both males and females. Amazing color and egg spots on these guys as well. Down here are Hans Bushy Red Shoulders, males and females as well. Down here are Albino Sunshines, males and females. Up here is another in-house bread. Uh, these are my flames. Uh, this tank did have strawberries in it, but we sold them all, so we're looking to bring in some more. This tank here has albino strawberries. Another beautiful member of the albino family. Up here, I believe there is a couple of red suns remaining. There's one there. Not sure where the other one is, but I know, oh, there he is. Hiding up there. This one must be chasing him. Down here, Candizi blue orchids.
Below that are the Malaria Chidunga rocks. Kind of dark, so it's hard to see their nice golden yellow. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. Over here are red collar peacocks. Something new we haven't had in before. Uh, males and females, including some holding females. I have a couple of the big five and a half to six inch strigatus remaining. Uh, these are the last two that I have. Uh, down here are beautiful Z Rock lithobates. We have them anywhere from three and a half inch to five and a half. There's one five and a half inch left. Up here. Big, beautiful F1 Kawingis, the Metachromus Kawingis. Uh, I only have one female of this one. The rest are big, beautiful males. These are every bit of six inches. Down here are four inch living stone eyes. Below that are F1 Spilopsuous yellows are more commonly called the Insignis. These are F1s. Up here are four inch Compressiceps Malawi eye biters. There are both males and females in there as well. I have a couple of the Protomillus hartes or hertes, however you want to pronounce those. Five inch. Below that are Venustus. You can see the dominant one there. Uh, I do have a female or two left in here as well. The rest are males. Still have some big beautiful Psittochromus jalo reefs. Mylochromus and Formimus, males and females. This tank is those uh, red empress OBs I've been growing out. You can see they put on some size and there's some three inch tetrastigma males in here as well. In this tank, uh, six inch wild caught lanai, as well as a five inch pair, uh, a male and a female, and then a six inch individual male, wild caught all of them. Wild caught polystigmas. There are some males showing in here now, such as that one. Beautiful big five and a half to six inch red fin borley eyes. Six inch red empress. We'll show you these, but this is my breeding group. Uh, wild caught Acutisep Malawi Gars. There is the seven inch male and his four girly friends uh, we'll show you these but these are sold as well this is a trio of wild caught protomelis arnatus four and a half to five inch tangerine tigers starting to show some really nice color and finish Down here are my super red empress out of my grow out tub from my breeder up front. You can see some of them are starting to show some really nice color. Up here, uh, showing really nice color now, the dominant wild caught Mylochromus mola. 
I have a few of these remaining. And I really hope this shows up on here because these Lethronop Marginatus red fins are looking fantastic. Beautiful, amazing color, and that's without sand in the tank, so imagine how they would look with a nice tank with sand in it for them to sift through. Below that, some 5 inch plus ivory head Melotos. Up here, the wild caught Tyrannochromus Nigraventors. In this tank, F1 Aristochromus Christii, the Malawi Hawks. These are F1s. There is one well caught Malawi trout, well actually two, but I believe that one's a female. That one I'm growing out for myself for the front show tank. If you don't like it, I don't care. Uh, this is my breeding group of wild caught Buchachromus rhodesii leptura yellow. Uh, I kept these four, I'm hoping I got a trio of females and I know this one's a male. Down here, F1 Buchachromus notitanias. Uh, you can see there's a really nice dominant one and some others looking very, very nice. Down here, F1 Buchachromus spectabilis all plenty. Uh, showing very, very nice color. Very good size, over five and a half inches. Up here are the wild caught gold fin Mabitasips. Have two trios available. You can see the two males uh, chasing each other there. Uh, the rest are female. Down here, I posted these on Instagram yesterday. Uh, beautiful deep water haps. I have them in four inch as well as five inch plus. And I have a female. Down here are four inch albino Taiwan reefs, males, as well as two and a half to three inch unsexed albino Taiwan reefs. Um, I have the unsexed ones at a really good price at $19.99 uh, if you're interested in those. Up here, I have a couple of wild caught fire blue lupingus remaining, as well as a wild caught, I don't know how to pronounce that, so we'll just show you. I'll butcher saying that. That's, uh, that's a single fish, that's this one. And then there is a wild caught Mylochromus melantros pair, which is the golden colored ones. There is a male and a female going as a pair. Down here, uh, four inch thread finicaras for you South American lovers. Down here are three inch plus fireline melotos, both males and females. Starting to color up very nicely, the males. You can see their blazes coming in. Up here are beautiful angelfish. Put these on sale as well, $5 off. In here, uh, some in-house bread stuff. Uh, Z-Rock lithobates, red shoulders, Apaches, uh, albino Eureka Red, and I have a five inch Du Boise remaining, so he's in here with them. 5 inch Phosochromus rostratus males. Don't like me being anywhere near the tank, so they hide and take off. Up here are 3.5 to 4 inch F1 Chilotilapia rhodosize. 
Uh, you can see their color is coming in very, very nicely already at this size. Uh, these are F1s. And this tank is my two inch male tank for sale. Uh, need to get on to adding this to the website for you guys. Uh, it's going very well as far as local customers are concerned, as well as uh, three inch or so F1 Synodonis Multiplancatus. There's quite a few of them in there. They like to hide underneath the sponge filters. Down here is another tank of three and a half inch assorted in-house bred males. The only one that is not for sale is this one right here. This is the first male out of my OBZ Rock project. Um, trying to grow him out to see how he's going to look in full size and color. As you can see, he's really got the Xerox shape. Now I'm working on getting the blaze as well as the color. But there is some Xerox, some sulfur heads, Lawandas. Uh, these are my Tetra Stigma um, Taiwan Reef Hybrid. There's a really nice Ngar in here, Flame Tail. Up here, 5 inch plus and D-Way fire haps and there is a four and a half inch female as well. This is my wild caught Mylas Chromis Lattice Striga long nose breeding group. Up here the three, I think I have them listed at three inch but they're definitely bigger. Uh, Stevens Eye Imperial Blue Golds. There's one four inch plus left in there, but he is sold. But you can see, hopefully you can see the color coming in on probably 85% of these are male. Very, very nice. Down here, I have them split into two tanks because they're so big. Uh, anywhere from six inch to nine inch Mara rocks. The sulfur head hap, uh, same strain as the one that I have up in my front show tank that is probably 10 or 11 inches. Uh, this is where I got them from and I brought some of these nice big bad boys in for you guys. Down here are Taiwan Reefs, 4.5 to 5 inch and there is a smaller female in there. 3 inch uh, Spotsani's males, 3 inch plus I would say, already starting to show some good color. That's the tank of Mara Rocks again. Up here are 4 inch, uh, I'm going to have to say unsexed, Fusco's. Uh, very hard to sex at this size, I can do my best, but they are listed as unsexed. And these are F1, and I listed them at a very, very good price because they are unsexed. I will do my best to vent them and send you mails if I can. No guarantees. That's why they're listed at a lesser price. Up here are the beautiful Ovatis. I have a few Punda Millenarii's left, as well as Macoby Island Nairii's. Back here, there's not um, all that much to show. We've been moving stuff around. Uh, did get this guy in. It's a Bodzulu. Not the Bazulu red. Not sure what I'm going to do with him yet. He only sent me one and it's kind of cool. Trying to get some more. I have a four inch plus midnight remaining. Then, you know, we got some two inch males from the Triple S breeding group. A batch of dragon bloods growing out. 
uh, batch of Malawi Hawks from the Triple S program. Some two inch F1 Tele Alethana Pria Brutalis growing out. Skittles batch growing out. Uh, I moved my Star Sapphire breeding group down a tank and put the grow outs up there so I could see them better. Say what's up, Jared. What's going on? Hey, James Largo's got the best quality fish in town. They're not going to last long. Let's, let's buy them up. This is the guy, the reason my tanks look so clean right here. Quality water equals quality fish. Damn straight. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, check out the website, thecichlidshack.com. Just remember, these are just stupid fish videos. God bless and be good to each other.